previously on a prehistoric life. A vicious peck of Deinonychus just downed a juvenile Tenontosaurus. <laughs> And then, not too far away, it has been a, a mini massacre. Two Eoraptors took down their prey. The Dilophosaurus have took, taken down their prey. And then, working very hard, the Herrerasaurus have taken down one of the predators that was hunting here. But for the Coelophysis, the Montoceratops were able to use their brutal strength to kill the Coelophysis. <sighs> So then, all is calm after the predators have downed their prey, but now some of the herbivores are starting to get edgy. So then the, eel, so then the predators start to take back their prey back to their nests. After the Styracosaurus got knocked out by the Eoceratops, after a couple minutes, he finally wakes up. Then he realizes that the Dilophosauruses have killed his mate and took it to their nest. Styracosaurus is sad, but at least she didn't lay any eggs for him to take care of. He'll just have to find another mate. Back at the Utah after nest, all is going fine. After the young male died, things have been going, well, the same. And then after it passed, he passed away, Utah, Utah raptors have been chowing down on it. And they have no more food left, so now they are still hungry. But then, nearby there just happens to be a Uophocephalus wandering by. So then Utah raptors now go to find a good... So then Utah raptors now go to track it down. Um, when the when these Utah raptors um, lay their lay eggs, the the U, and then they hatch, the Utah raptor pack will then start to grow. But they'll just have to wait until their eggs until eggs lay. The Utah raptors are at a good hiding spot. Normally, Utah raptors would go after Gastonia, but Uophocephalus shouldn't be that hard. It's just a little bit a bit bigger. So yeah, but they need to um, wa watch out for that deadly club. It's way more violent than the U than the Gastonia's chainsaw-like tail. The wind and where the Utah Raptors are, the wind is actually blowing this way. And if the Utah Raptors are directly on the side of it, like on that side of the Uapocephalus, then. The and then when the wind blows, the Uophocephalus would smell them, and then the Utah, Utah Raptor would blow their cover. And just like rhinos, Ankylosauruses have very poor vision, but they do, um, um, they de depend on their sense, great sense of smell to help them uh, look out for predators. Utah Raptors start the moving for the attack. The Utah Raptors, this may be a big ankylosaur for the Utah Raptors, but they have a pack, so they it will be easier to take it down. So now the Utah Raptors, now the Utah Raptor pack decide it is time to strike. Utah Raptors now have the Uophocephalus uh, circled. <laughs> Unlike Gastonia, like I said, you, the Utah Raptors need to look out for that deadly club, which could cripple or even kill an attacker. <laughs> For the Utah Raptors, it is pointless scratching at the hard armor, but what they need to do is get up and towards the underbelly 
and the armpits and other vulnerable spots under you <laughs> Finally, the male gets uh, the Euphocephalus in a headlock, making it vulnerable, making the Euphocephalus vulnerable to attack. And then, with all the Eutoraptor's might, they push over the, the Euphocephalus. The Euphocephalus kicks with all its might. But it's hopeless. There's only three raptors and only one Euphocephalus. They'll do the same thing like they did to the Apatosaurus. If they can take down that Apatosaurus, they can totally take down a Euphocephalus. <laughs> A few minutes later, they finally rip, rip open the belly. The Gastonia is barely, uh, the Euphocephalus is, bar uh, is barely alive, but they continue eating it alive. But the Utah Raptors are actually not the only ones wandering around. This is Dilophosaurus, a much bigger male. He's been hunt he's been stalking this gas, um, this Euphocephalus all day. And now he's very mad of what he sees. He rushes over. He tries not to let the Utah Raptors smell him. Then he goes into it into attack mode. And then the Dilophosaurus goes into the attack. Dilophosaurus pulls the male back. <coughs> then the Utah Raptor now the Utah Raptors are very ferocious and they will do anything to kill the Dilophosaurus. <coughs> Utah Raptors and Dilophosaurus are the same size, so it doesn't really matter about size. It, it matters about strength and intelligence. <laughs> These Utah Raptors bite viciously into the flank. Dilophosaurus has lost. He then knows he cannot defeat the raptors, so then he limps off. <laughs> now, the Utah raptors will now peacefully eat. Very viciously. Back at the herbivore nesting area, all is going well. But, you might have thought this area is predator free, but you thought wrong. Nearby is an Ornitholestes, a bit bigger than a Cobsognathus. <coughs> they call this little one Lizard Bird Robber. Why? Well, it robs nests and goes after birds. <coughs> It's already been snooping around checking all the nests, but overall, all the herbivores haven't laid their eggs yet. So he's disappointed, but then, he sees something. He sees a Scatellosaurus, a type of little prehistoric lizard 
I can walk back on its uh, two back legs for to run away from enemies. Just as the ornithology is about to attack. Another seal of Fisers beats him. The one of the last is ticked off, so now he's gonna go battle the seal of Fisers. Now the Seal of Fices can now feed in peace. <sighs> you want the less he's chasing after a Lapteryx, a cousin of Archaeopteryx. They don't call Ornithalesi's lizard bird robber for nothing. So then, he goes to try to clamp a tree. <sighs> Until... <coughs> there are a family of Pteranodon up in a tree. But, he will not stop until he gets the Lapteryx. <coughs> the Lapteryx is, con is confused and annoyed by the pterosaurs until... <coughs> the Lapteryx is knocked out cold. And then... The pterosaurs pose an annoyance by their chirping to the to the herbivore. <coughs> the ornithology is still hungry, but he just can't resist another target, the pteranodon. So then he goes over to climb a tree again and go. Try to get a pteranodon. There are like three babies that are his size, so he'll have to be careful, otherwise, the mother will be very angry. Finally, the mother leaves. She is tired of seeing the little, the little animals down there, and then. This is the Ornithalesi's only chance. He'll have to go get one of the babies. The mother is now angry. She sees what of what happened to her baby. She can't find the predator though. So then she drops the prey and then She'll have to take it out of some other animal. <laughs> then, her and the, ba and the rest of her babies start to feed. So then, Ornithalesi drags his prey over to the Lapteryx. And then, he starts feeding on both of the prey items. And we have shown you... How vicious small predators can be. So, see you next time.